It is I, Prince Suko of the Fire Nation, and I must defeat all my opponents in this match in order to restore my lost honor and to capture the Avatar. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. What's going on? It's Gold Zuko, and welcome back to episode 12, I believe, of my Hunger Games series for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, we're actually going to be doing things a little bit differently this episode. We are not going to be using any of the VIP Plus gear that I started out with, such as the beautiful Diamond Axe I'm holding right now, nor are we going to be using any of this chainmail armor we're actually just going to be using all the stuff that we loot from the chests and from fallen enemies so i decided to do this because i know there are some of you who are like well zuko has vip plus and vip plus is for noobs <laughs> um which in most cases uh is true you know a lot of people do get vip and vip plus because they aren't that great at playing hunger games but I am not one of those cases, guys, and I actually know how to handle some business, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so I'm going to be doing this match without using any of my VIP Plus gear, and hopefully it's a good match. Um, let's see, do we get anything from that chest? Okay, no, we didn't really get anything. We got some boots, which is fine. So we're going to go ahead and go down here, and if I can get in here, and there's nothing in this chest. What about in this one? Nope, nothing in there about this one nope nothing we got beat to it but that's okay because we're gonna go ahead and look for a different chest so we're we'll go ahead and let's see where is oh you know what? let's head to that house over there i know for sure they got a chest in the house because a random house perched on top of a mountain clearly that is like a sign that says there's a chest in here come grab me or come loot me so we're gonna go ahead and head towards the mountain someone's already got the first kill good for them and we're gonna keep heading towards this this mountain. Hopefully we can get a chest sometime soon. And let's see. No, I can't climb up this area. Dang it. Um, actually, I can go around here maybe. Um, yeah, this should work. And we're gonna go ahead and keep heading towards that that mountain. Hopefully this is like a good area where we can find chests. Um, well, actually, I think there might be a chest somewhere over here. Um, no, maybe I was mistaken. I could have sworn there was a chest somewhere in the corner of a mountain. I'm not sure where, which mountain or where exactly, but I'm going to throw on these fresh gold kicks, and we're going to be on our merry way here. And I'm going to keep climbing up this mountain. 10% battery remaining. Can he do it? Can he win with only 10% battery? Who knows? Who knows, guys? Um, possibly. We'll see how it, we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Is it, oh, there's a chest right there. Sweet. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead, take this chest, and there's a lot of loot in here. I'm going to throw all my chainmail stuff in here. I don't want to throw the diamond axe in here because I'm afraid someone else was going to grab it and use it against us for their evil benefits. So, I'm not going to do that. But, I am going to throw on the rest of my loot. And, yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff. Oh, and I got this helmet. So, I'm going to use that. We still got to find a weapon, which is fine. We'll find one when the time comes and let's see is there is that a chest up there am i seeing things uh yeah i must be seeing things because that is pretty high uh we still haven't made our way to the the uh that that little hut on the mountain or whatever so we're gonna go ahead and head on that direction <laughs> that was a weird accent um head in that direction and see if we can find anything in that chest and if it was worth our while and there's someone already there Ugh, you beat us to it Screw this guy. We're going to push him off the mountain. Actually, we'll just beat him to death with some gold kicks. Eat my shoes, man. Eat my shoes. Taste the glory of gold kicks. What? How is he not dying? I've, like, hit him so many times with these gold boots. He should be dead by now. Okay, you know what? I'm going to fist bump him. <laughs> um, there's nothing in here. Wow. That was a total waste. Who put this? Who put this hut here? I demand that this house be burned. Burn to the ground, I tell you. Um, yeah, I guess there's nothing around here. Maybe there's something on the outside, because I don't know why they would put, like, a random hut with no chests in it in this map. So, clearly there's, like, a, a hidden chest or whatever that we have to find. And we're totally low on health. And we've just, we haven't even really fought anyone, aside from that one guy. We've just been falling, and we need to stop falling. We need to start owning um, so we're gonna go ahead and look around here for a chest. You know, I'm not too familiar with any of the maps really because when I play Hungry Games, I already, I just kind of rush and do my own thing. I don't really go look for a chest that much. I prefer to just take things from other players, which sounds kind of mean, but you know, that's how Hunger Games works. And there's a chest right over here, which is pretty rad. 
I'm going to grab this one. Wow, this is a very nicely decorated room. I'm, I'm digging the vibe in here. That's for sure. Oh, and we had food. Why didn't I get this food? I do not know. Um, chests have been refilled. Sweet. We'll go ahead and take the same chest again. Nice. And you know what? Pretty much everything that we have we can use because I did put all of these stuff away in the chest, like all my chain mail. So all the chain mail I have right now is totally acceptable for use. So we are going to do that. We're going to go ahead and throw on this, this, and we're going to bust out our gold sword because gold is awesome. And we're also going to get our stone sword out just in case for backup. And that should be good. Now we're going to go ahead and head out of this cool little temple looking area here. And we're going to go look for someone to fight. Someone to vanquish. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and, you know, maybe we should head back to that chest that we first found. Because that one has been refilled. So we're going to go ahead and head over there in a moment. And it looks like there's someone there hoarding the chest down there. So you know what? I'm actually going to go after this fellow and take him out if I can. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has that much loot on him. He does have a better weapon than us, but... You know what? Forget about it. We can handle it. Oh yeah, we're gonna take this guy out. We're gonna take him out. We're gonna take you out, and not for a stake, my good sir. We're gonna take you out. Yes, we got all his loot. Awesome. And you know what? I'm gonna put all the loot in the chest so I can take it out again. Because for some reason, uh, when you uh, kill somebody in, in Hunger Games, for some reason it... It like crashes you if you try to take their uh, their stuff and or you try to use their stuff and you don't take it out from a chest. Like if you just kill them and you put on the stuff that you just got from killing them, it makes you crash, which is pretty lame. But you know what? At least there is a way to uh, counter this. So I'll take this axe out and we got an iron axe ready to rumble. And let's see what else we got. I'm gonna throw on these those fresh chainmail kicks and we have a chainmail. Um, a chainmail helmet, so we might as well throw that bad boy on too. Put that on and take it back to our inventory, and voila! We're looking very fresh, like minty fresh. You could brush your teeth with how fresh we're looking right now, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check out the other chest, see if there's anything better that we could possibly use. Get rid of all these uh, leather items. Ugh, leather. Who needs it? <laughs> um... Anyways, we're going to go ahead and loot all the chests that are here in the middle. There's a chest plate. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Um, showing the love right here. Throw on this iron chest plate. And also, you know what? We're going to go ahead and there's nothing here. But I know there are a bunch of chests underneath the water. I'm just kind of be very cautious because we're doing pretty well right now. You know, uh, we do have some, some pretty good stuff. So, you know, I'm going to try to... Be as cautious as I can because I don't want anyone creeping up on us. We don't like when people creep on us, you know. Um, that's not how we roll. So we're going to go ahead and check out these chests here. The deathmatch is going to be starting in one minute. So we don't really have that much time. Let's see what we got. We got a bow. If only we had some arrows right now. That would be pretty pretty sweet. But um, it's cool. Even if we don't have arrows, we still got this pretty rad axe that we could use. Ooh, we got cake. That's what I'm talking about. Looking very nice. Get rid of some of those gold items. We don't need that. We're gold Zuko, but we don't need the gold right now. Um, oh, a diamond. Yes, that is nice. Okay, and let's see what else we got here. I think this was like the last chest that I did not loot. Um, let's see. And nope. Oh, there is a stick in here, though. So that is cool. Ah cannot get out of here okay and now that we have all this stuff we're gonna go ahead and throw it on as fast as we possibly can oh whoa what's going on here hey i guess this is the only guy who survived well hello um here let's make this a fair fight i will give you a uh a weapon here you go you can have this sword you can have these boots and you can have this helmet because, you know what, we don't want to take out some guy who literally has no gear on. We want to make it a little bit fair. So, um, let's see what else we can give him. We'll give him... Do we have our... Yeah, we have this on. Here, we'll give you this chest plate as well. And that seems about pretty fair. Let's throw on our boots. And let's throw on our helmet. Actually, you know what, why don't we try to get the same gear that he has on. Um... Throw this on, 
Oops, and we'll throw on, let's see, some gold boots, and, all right, that's fair, let's go. Now we will fight. Oh, I just totally lost my axe. Um, now we're totally gonna go ham on this Yosef fellow. Oh, we won, all right, that was cool. Uh, I didn't, I didn't realize that he was that low health, but whatever, we try to make it fair, so, anyways, it was a pretty good game, as you can see, guys, even without VIP+. Plus. I'm not that bad of a player, um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, if you did, please be sure to do me a solid, leave a like, comment the video, maybe subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already because I would really appreciate that. And yeah, have a good one. See you guys later.